Happy Easter Sunday, YouTube community and sports fans nationwide. It's your boy, Lex Anderson, and you've entered the sports opinion log here in Lex Anderson world. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about how the Warriors are one game away from their anticipated matchup against the Houston Rockets and the Boston Celtics accomplishing something they haven't done in the last eight years in the playoffs. So first and foremost, shout out to anybody who has gone to church service this Sunday. As you see, I broke out the special Easter colors, New Orleans, Chris Paul, authentic jersey. And, you know, one of the things that the pastor probably asked of you is to become a member of the church. So on this Easter Sunday, I ask you, if you're new to this channel, to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to stay notified for any and all upcoming future videos. Now that we've gotten that out the way, let me hit the ground running. Golden State Warriors 113, L.A. Clippers 105, and anybody outside of L.A. Clipperland should know that the Clippers don't have a chance in hell of actually winning this series. And of course, that 31-point 31, 31 comeback is looking like ancient history at this point in the game because the Warriors did what they had to do. They went in to their territory, took their home court, and now they're going to go back to the Bay Area, back to Oracle Arena, and do what needs to be done, which will be to close out this series. And, you know, one of the things I love the most about Easter, other than my famous no look passes, that is always a key to victory, is that when you have Easter Sunday, you have candy. And one of the things that I like the most is these Kit Kat Easter Bunny ear wafers, Kit Kat Easter Bunny, and these delicious Twix eggs. And you know who laid an egg? That would be Steph Curry. Three of seven, three of 14 from the field, one of nine from three-point range for a pedestrian 12 points. But guess what? When you play with an all-star cast, when your teammates are all-stars, superstars, best in the world, Kevin Durant with 33 points, Klay Thompson with 32 points, Iguodala off the bench with 10 points, you don't have to worry about how Steph Curry played. And that is the beauty of the Golden State Warriors. So we don't have to hear about, oh, no Boogie Cousins. What are they going to do? Uh, you know, three-peat championship. Is it derailed? Is it in danger? Not by what I saw today, because Klay Thompson, on top of being an excellent defender, can drop buckets like he showed us this afternoon. So there you have it, realistically. There's really nothing more to discuss. Obviously, you have the Houston Rockets, which I'll talk about their series in, uh, versus the Utah Jazz on my IGTV channel. You can make sure to subscribe below to my Instagram account to see that video. Uh, basically, the Utah Jazz, which had upset OKC last season, is on the edge of being swept this season because Harden, who started the game 0 for 15, still led the comeback victory. So Utah Jazz, they're about as dead in the water as you could get because for a game like that, for you not to secure a W makes no goddamn sense. And securing Ws right now is clearly the focus of the Golden State Warriors after that humiliating 31-point comeback that the Clippers, you know, spiked on their heads in Oracle Arena. The last chance to say goodbye to the good fans in Oracle Arena. So maybe it's kind of a gift and a curse. Because if the Warriors weren't smacked back into reality off of that horrific loss, technically, they would have swept the Clippers today. But instead, the series now goes back to Oracle so that those fans in this last season can enjoy one more home game in the first round before, of course, the heavily anticipated matchup in the semifinals, which will make this really interesting. But I'll talk about that in a later video between the Houston Rockets and the Golden State Warriors. So uh, salutes to Clay Thompson. I didn't have to call you. You answered the phone and you came through and dropped buckets. And speaking of dropping buckets over on the East Coast, I, the prophet, had decreed due to my hatred of the Celtics that the Pacers would win in six. But no Olin Depot equals no chance, not happening, and no way Jose as the Pacers, for the second time in three years, has been swept out the playoffs and more humiliating in the first round. And the Celtics have accomplished a four-game series sweep for the first time in eight years. And, of course, the last time that happened 
It would be against the hapless New York Knicks. Womp, womp. Uh, it's amazing how things just come back 360 to New York. It's actually kind of embarrassing and pathetic. So uh, Gordon Haywood, he came through 20 points. Uh, Marcus Smart also added a three-point flurry late in the game. And, you know, the only thing I didn't like about that game, oh, final score, Celtics 110, Pacers 106. The one thing I didn't like about that game, down by 10 points with a minute to play, and the Pacers are doing this stupid foul, timeout, foul, timeout. No, just take the loss. Go quietly into the day, not sunset because it was an afternoon game, but just quietly go away. I'm sure a lot of you people don't remember this, but there was once a skinny scarecrow by the name of Reggie Miller, who was a proficient three-point shooter, but thankfully his name has been pretty much practically erased off the record books by the excellent, by the excellent shooting excuse me, of uh, Steph Curry. I'm just so happy because I hate Reggie Miller so much. you know. So years ago, the Pacers used to be a very dangerous, a very dominant team. This was in the early 90s. So uh, Google Scarecrow, Reggie Miller, Indiana Pacers. Let me know if you see something you like because I've never liked the Pacers. But of course, nothing equals hatred like the Boston Celtics. So, you know, I wasn't objective. I paid the price. Pacers, whatever. So I, no, why would I even salute you guys? You guys got swept. You got the broom. I wish I had a broom, but I don't. But... That's it for the Pacers. That's all she wrote. So uh, we got two more games coming up. We have Orlando taking on the Toronto Raptors. And of course, as we come full circle, while the Utah Jazz are on the edge of being swept, the team that they beat last season, OKC, taking on Portland tonight. So I will definitely be back post-game with another video in regards to that. So I thank you very much for tuning into this video. Let me know how you feel. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment below. Like the video, you know what to do. Thumbs up, don't like the video. Hey, you know, the thumbs down always come from some anonymous, hating ass Celtic fan. And that's all right. Because Lex Anderson, Sports Opinion Log, I don't hide behind a silhouette. I stand here before you, all face, hair done properly, fashion icon, Chris Paul, New Orleans, Easter colors, got the white and teal and a little trim of gold going on. So I'm feeling pretty good, and we're going to get this Easter dinner popping for me and my girl, Desi Robin 23, because I got to get ready to sit down and devote my full attention to OKC and seeing if the referees will job this playoff game. Oh, and real quick, speaking of job, the Nets general manager actually stormed the, the, the referee's room after their loss against the Philadelphia 76ers. So kudos for the Nets general manager standing up to what is known as the machine and the NBA knowing which team has more value in the postseason. And that would clearly be the Philadelphia 76ers, but he should be more upset that his team couldn't secure a win with them being given the gift of a Jimmy Butler ejection. So actually, he should be storming his own locker room and hashing out his players and their coach for their inept game plan. <laughs> oh boy, I tell you, New York never fails to disappoint when it comes to things known as playoffs and postseason, high expectations, or even simple things like just giving your fans a win so they could say, hey, I paid a lot of money for this ticket and I bought all this extra price, overpriced concession bullshit and stupid merchandise, but I can't even get a win? God damn. I'd be mad, too, if I was a Brooklyn Net fan, but I'm not. So I'll just sit back here and laugh because <laughs> the majority of my shows are done with my two Philadelphia 76ers jerseys. Yeah, Julius Irving and AI. And speaking of AI, I am about to see my way out of this video. Thank you very much for tuning in. Special shout out to my IGTV family, M6 Drop, West Coast all day. I see you. Only one cage. Yeah, but with a K. Check him out on the gram. And, of course, this video is sponsored by my hair company at CelebrityHairCord.com. Guys, if you're looking for a better look for your lady, send her our way, CelebrityHairCord.com. Grade 10A diamond level virgin human hair, wigs, and bundles. Check us out on the gram, Celebrity Hair Core. Link is in the bio below. And follow me on Snapchat. I've added my Snapchat now, Lex Luther 4 But you don't have to remember that. You know why? Because in my bio, the icon's right there. Press it, and I'll see you on the other side. Lex Anderson, signing out.